Forest Life. All right, you guys, today I thought I would uh, just bring you along on a little adventure that I'm having right now, and that is that uh, we have two wood-burning fireplaces in our house, and we have a forest behind us and to the side of us uh, that stuff has collected for years. Um, this house is 77 years old, but stuff is just everywhere, and there are branches like such. So these super long branches you can tell how long that is um they just fall out of the trees all the time and um it makes our gardening area and other stuff um a little bit hazardous to get around in so we've been using them as kindling for our firewood inside for our big down trees but um the problem is that they are only so big they can only fit so big in the stove so i've got a box and I've determined that the width of this box, not the length, the width, is about the size that we need for our stove. So I just thought I'd take you along on the adventure of cutting small twigs today. Very exciting stuff. But, uh, hey, mountain living. Um, it is a December 2nd. It is a Wednesday. And uh, so just thought I'd take you along on this little party today. All right, let's get started. I hate that saying. Because it's a little chilly out here. I got some blue vase. Okay, that's fun, but it's very inefficient. Especially when I can just use something like this.
Okay, so you might be wondering, where am I getting all this wood from? And the answer is here. It's this giant pile. I'll turn it around in a minute so you guys can see it. But you can also see back here, this is where PG&E has been cutting down um, dead wood so that um, should a fire occur again, it doesn't come up against the houses. The houses are here, and I am here. But let me turn you around and show you what I'm doing and why. Okay, so we inherited this giant, this is where I was blowing the leaves. We've inherited this giant pile of wood it's cut wood, it's old stuff. Um, over there is where I've been chopping up stuff, and over there is where the PG&E has been cutting up stuff. But you can see this is all dead, super dry wood. So should the fire have come here, it would have lit this whole pile of old wood on fire, and the house is only right there. So the possibility with the wind or whatever else that it could set that on fire. So what I've done is I made up a little place here to cut up wood and somebody is racing on the highway. Um, and also I discovered, if you can see that right here, that is an old ax head buried into the tree. That's the back end, like this part of the ax that's been broken off with the handle. So that's interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, so here's where I'm at. Just chopping away and I'll show you the wood box in a minute because I've gone way beyond my project scope, but um, yeah, eventually we're gonna work on getting all this down. All right, in the meantime, um, this is probably like from that tree to the end of that pole is about, I don't know, 18, 20 feet. And this is gonna be this winter's project. So little by little, I'm gonna nibble away at this. We'll come back and check it out in the future. But uh, here's some shots so we can have some comparisons in the future. And there's my tripod. All right, so we've got quite a pile going here and here, and it doesn't look like I made a dent, but I feel good. Been doing about an hour. Got some bark down there. Oh, and um, I also found a rake. I found this end of the stick in the wood pile, and I thought, oh, I'll just pull that out, and boom! There was a rake in there. So I think that's the third rake we found so far. All right, I'm a little pooped, but um, I feel like we uh, have some success here. So check it out. I made a whole box of kindling. Thumbnail. Ooh. Thumbnail. So I made a whole box of kindling there and uh, even found some redwood to split up. So overall, I think it's been a good day. Um, yeah, what else to tell you? Trying to make a good thumbnail. Ooh. box of kindling so um yeah overall a good day spent about an hour and a half two hours out here i don't even know what time it is but it's getting dark it's hard to tell because the camera counts for it accounts for it but anyway um hope you guys are doing well let me put this shut down and uh i'll talk to you next time take care guys bye